Jeremy Clarkson took a swipe at comedian Stephen Fry after he backed calls for soldiers in the King's Guard to stop using real fur as part of their ceremonial dress. Jeremy Clarkson has shared his disbelief after Stephen Fry called for the King's Guard to stop using real fur in the bearskin caps used when performing duties such as guarding Buckingham Palace and the changing of the guards. In his new column, The Clarkson's Farm Star wrote, Stephen Fry has thrown his weight behind a campaign to get soldiers in the King's Guard to change their bearskin hats to something more animal-friendly. Really? We want the king being guarded by people in hats made from nylon? He added in the sun. The fact is that indigenous tribes in the remote top end of Canada kill the bears and eat the meat. So, what should they do with the fur that's left over? Throw it away? Or sell it to the British Army and make a few quid? Narrating a graphic campaign video for PETA, Stephen, 66, said, Tradition is never an excuse for cruelty, and called for the soldiers to replace the, the fur of slaughtered wildlife with a fake version. He also said that a failure to ditch bearskin would be unconscionable and un-British. The chief presenter said, Bears who are shot don't always die outright. They may flee and endure a slow, painful death from infection or blood loss only to be found hours later after the hunters follow their bloody trail. It's time to modernize this iconic symbol of Britain by switching to a fabulous faux fur that has been tested specifically to ensure its suitability for use by the King's Guard, said PETA senior campaign manager Kate Werner. However, the Ministry of Defense said, an alternative has yet to meet the standards required, and that bare fur is from legal and licensed hunts. A spokeswoman told BBC, to date and to the department's knowledge, an alternative has yet to meet the standards required to provide an effective replacement for the bearskin ceremonial caps. PETA says it will share the video footage with King Charles, as it asks him to support a switch from real to artificial fur. Buckingham Palace has not commented.